So for our next topic, we will discuss about changing the line of action of a force. So in this particular section, we will discuss about how to change or transfer the line of action of a force without affecting its external effect on a body. So this uh, topic is very important, especially on uh, resultants of force systems and other applications on engineering mechanics so that we can simplify a system uh, in an in a easier way by transferring the force or changing its line of action. So this topic will be important on the preceding section, especially in the resultants of force systems. So the steps in performing such method is provided in the figure as shown here in the right side. So we consider force F at point B and we need to transfer it at point A. So how do we transfer a force from one point to another point without changing its effect on a body, meaning it is considered an equivalent system because we will not change the response of the body. We will just transfer the force from one point to another. So the first step is to introduce two forces at the point of transfer, which is point A, that are both equal in magnitude at the initial force or the original force at point B, which is oppositely directed and parallel to the force at B as shown in the right side of the figure. So as you can see, we have here our original force B acting at point B and you want to transfer it at point A. So the first thing you do is you apply two forces at the transfer point, which is point A, which is parallel to point B and oppositely directed, which is in this figure, since the force in B is going upward, so we will apply two forces upward and downward at uh, point A, which is the point of transfer. The next step is the force at A, which is opposite the direction of the force of B, will create a couple with the same force at B as shown in figure C. So as you can see, these two forces right here, which is the force that is opposite in the direction of the force at B, which is at point A, so as you can see, this is a downward force at A and an upward force at B. This creates a couple uh, phenomenon wherein we need to convert this couple into a couple transfer. We will use the term couple transfer, which is CT. So as you can remember in our previous lecture, which is couple, the formula is force times distance. F is the magnitude of the pair of forces that is uh, parallel to each other and oppositely directed and at a distance d from each other. So uh, what will happen is that the force, which is this one, will remain in that particular point. So this force right here is the transferred force from point B to point A. But we just, uh, as a penalty of transferring the force uh, from point B to point A, they will be, there will be a couple that will produce to make the two system equivalent. These two systems right here equivalent to each other. So note that CT is also called the couple transfer, which is the couple or the equal to the moment of the original force acting at point B about the transfer point, which is point A. So basically, we just uh, the couple transfer is also equal to the moment of force F, which is at point B, to which we consider point A, which is the transfer point, as the moment center. So as you can see, uh, this one right here is D distance, which is this one. So couple transfer is this one. Couple transfer is the moment, which is force times distance, of force F acting at the original location of the force when we consider the point moment center as the point of transfer. So that's another way of thinking uh, what is the couple transfer. So let's have an example here. For the given figure shown, replace the applied load, which is a 150 kN force acting at point A by letter A, an equivalent force couple system with force acting at point B. Letter B, the, the horizontal force, one acting at point B and the other, uh, two forces, 
the horizontal two horizontal forces one acting at point B and the other acting at point C so the, the original figure is a force which is acting at point A so for problem A we want to transfer that force to or convert that force system which is a force acting at A by an equivalent force couple system with, which is acting at point B so to do that uh, we just need to apply, uh, we just transfer the 150, 150 kN force here. Then apply a moment, uh, get the moment of uh, the 150 kN force, which is the couple transfer, which is, as you, as you can see, obviously it is clockwise because B is the moment center now, which is the transfer point. So the couple transfer is uh, 150 kN, then the distance is this distance right here. So that is uh, 0 0.12 meter because it is 80 mm plus 40 mm. So what times 0 0.12 meters? So the answer is uh, 18 kilonewton meter clockwise. So this will be the final answer. So we have a couple equivalent force couple system which is a 150 kilonewton force transferred from point A to point B, then a couple transfer which is a clockwise moment, uh, 150 kilonewton times 0.12 meter, meters measured from point A to point B, then that is 18 kilonewton meter. So next is, so in letter B, we want to replace the original system with Two horizontal forces, one acting at point B and the other is acting at C. So we will use the answer in, this is the answer in letter A, the equivalent force couple system acting at B. We just need to replace this 18 kilonewton meter force into two forces, which is one acting at B and other in C. So as you can see, two horizontal forces because that is what, what is asked in the problem. So we just want to determine this force right here. So remember that these two forces will produce a couple of uh, 18 kilonewton meters. So 18 kilonewton meter is equal to force times the distance between the two forces is obviously 40 mm or 0 0.04. So if we solve the force, the answer will be 450 kilonewton. So it will look like this. Uh, what will happen now is we add, since we have two forces at point B which is going to the right, we can simply add them. So we have 450 plus 150 is 600 kN and the remaining force at point C which is 450 kN. So the answer is uh, the force at B is a horizontal force, 600 kN to the right and the force at C is a horizontal force also going to the left which is 450 kN. So that's the answer for... Letter B, which is the two horizontal forces, one acting at B and the other at point C. So that's the final answer. So if we were going to solve three dimensional problems in vector terminology, so the line of action of force F can be transferred to a parallel line, provided that we introduce the couple transfer, which is the same as the concept in two dimensional force system. So, if we want to transfer this force F acting at point B to point A, which is this point, so as you can see, it is transferred, we will just introduce a couple transfer, which is the moment of the force F from the original location, which is point B, to uh, the moment center, which is the transfer point, which is point A. So, we will use a position vector R that is directed from the transfer point to the original point of location of the force F. So what will happen is you can transfer force F from point B to point A but there will be a penalty of a couple transfer that is so that we can have an equivalent uh, system. So this force and couple acting at this system is what we call the equivalent force couple system. R is the vector drawn from the transfer point A to the point of application B 
of the original force as illustrated in the figure below. So it is not, remember this one from the concept of equivalent couples, it is not necessary that the couple transfer is acting at the point of transfer. We can transfer it anywhere because it is a free vector. Then note that CT is perpendicular to both R and F from the definition of cross product. So let's have an example here. So replace the force couple system showing the figure with an equivalent force couple system with the force acting at A. So as you can see, this is not an ordinary problem from our uh, previous uh, lecture or previous uh, explanation on the concept because as you can see, the original system is a force only. But in this problem, we have a force and a couple combination. But the force is in this problem should be transferred to point A. So as you can see, it is originally acting at point B. So what will happen here is that uh, we, will, we will try to transfer force B to point A, which is this one, and we will introduce a couple transfer. But since there is a couple right here, we can simply add them together, uh, add, because this is uh, two couples. It doesn't necessarily to be concurrent, uh, concurrent to each other. Then we will use a couple resultant CR. So what will happen is the final answer is the force couple system, which is force F and CR. Because if we will stop by transferring uh, F and we get CT here, so this is not a force couple system because there are two couples. Uh, the couple transfer, which is the uh, R cross F. So R here will be this one, obviously. Or you can use this one depending on your uh, depending on what's your preferred solution uh, as long as or it, this is not allowed I guess so this is the other R this one right here because it is measured from uh, the moment of the force F about the point A so but it is much easier so that we will not be confused. We will use the uh, two points, which is the original location and the transfer point. So we will use this uh, position vector R. So what will happen is we have a force couple system. Uh, this is the couple transfer. So this will not be the final answer because these two couples are not simplified. And meaning we must... Uh, uh, we must combine them together to make an equivalent force couple system. So equivalent force couple system must consist of one force and one couple. So always remember that. So this is not, uh, this. there are two couples if we, we will stop in this solution. So just simply add the two couples. So first thing to do is we uh, solve the vector terminologies of or vector notations of the two functions which is the force which is 100 pounds and the couple which is 120 pound each so as you can see we have the force which is having two components which is the fx and fz which is i and k so that is negative 4i because this is this is negative 4 from point b to this one to this point that is 4 inches then we have 2k because from this point to this point is 2 inches. So multiplying it to the magnitude which is 100 pounds. So the answer is negative 89.44i plus 44.72k. So that is the vector notation of the force. Then we have the couple transfer which is uh, we will use these components. So we have x and we have y and we have z. So for x, we have 4. For y, we have 4. And for z, we have 2. 4, 4, and negative 2 because it is downward. So multiplying it to the, dividing it to the magnitude of the position vector from point D to point B to get the unit vector. Then multiply it to the 120 pound foot, pound inch, I mean, pound inch couple. So we get 
80i plus 80j minus 40k pound inch. So what we'll do now is we transfer this force right here to this point. Then we will introduce a couple transfer which is basically R cross F. So our position vector R here will be obviously it is 4j minus 2k inches. Because this is 4 j and negative 2 k so that is uh, position vector r here 4 j minus 2 k so we will apply uh, the the 3 by 3 matrix to make it easier so as you can remember we will have it here 0 negative 89.44 and we have j 4 and 0 so, if we, I will not show the solution here because we already know how to do this. So, you can try this on your own and check if we have uh, the same answer because this one is already in our previous lectures. So, we will just get direct, go directly to the final answer, which is this one, the couple transfer. So, what will happen is we have here the force and the couple transfer. So, this is not yet an equivalent force couple system because uh, the two couples are not simplified to each other. Uh, so, we need to add them together. So, to add them, we just simply add its components. So, we have here the components of C and the components of CT. So, we just simply add them together. So, to get the resultant couple, which is this one. So the magnitude of CR, if you want to calculate the magnitude of CR, you just simply apply this formula using the components of the uh, couple resultant. So the final answer will look like this. So the force is a 100 pound force. So transferred from point A to point B. Uh, remember that this is the original force. Uh, the slope of this one is... This is 4, 2. So, meaning this is 2 is to 1. So, if we transfer the force here, this is a 100 pound force, which is given in the problem. So, the slope is 2 is to 1. So, if you want to express that in vector form, it's, it's your choice. Uh, like this one. If you want to express like that. So, it will be your choice. Then, the couple resultant which is, as you can see, it is a 485-pound inch couple. So it has three components, the CX, CY, and CZ. So that will be our final answer. So let's try to have some practice problems to check what you have learned in this video. So we will have problems for couples and equivalent force couple systems. So the first one is this problem. So determine the couple moment acting on the pipe assembly and express the result as a Cartesian vector. So the answer to this problem is So next problem is Determine the couple vector that is equivalent to the three couples acting on the gearbox given that we have C1, uh, 200 pound inch, we have C2, 140 pound inch, and C3, which is 220 pound inch. So the answer to this problem is... Next is replace the loading system by an equivalent resultant force and couple moment acting at point A. So the answer to this problem is... And finally, we have our last problem. Uh, replace the loading system by an equivalent force couple moment acting at point 
โอ้So the answer to this problem is So thank you for listening to this and watching this video. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and I can so that I can help you in your uh, uh, engineering mechanics class. So thank you.